Hi Scorpio, welcome to your extended reading. I'm just going to recap really quickly here. Uh, we ended off with fear and this entire reading tells me that right now you're going through a testing phase, testing your fears. <laughs> That's not fun, but it is part of the process. So I feel like you're aware of this too. Um, and your, your biggest fear here is to really fully open your heart up and, and take that big blockade wall down. Your fear is getting hurt if you're going to open yourself back up to being loving and being loved and allowing love to come in. It can be scary, especially when we keep getting hurt over and over again. But now you're starting to understand the truth is revealing itself to you. You're seeing that while you're in the hanged man, while you're kind of hung up and can't really go forward yet because the universe has some things that it's teaching you with the teacher. We're learning in earth school here and what you're learning about is this waiting game that you found yourself waiting and waiting for things to change waiting for someone to change waiting for whatever and the thing is you're waiting on yourself whenever you're waiting for something else you're actually waiting on yourself it is time for you scorpio to make those changes for yourself and it has been very frustrating and because it all has everything to do with your relationships your partnerships your alliances with other people here in life and um it's been a challenge it's been very very um difficult and frustrating i'm getting these a lot of these people that you're close to are playing out you know they're mirroring your childhood wounds, your patterns, your habits, all of these things. And it's like, you get it, you you see it, you see the truth, you know that, and you, you've got the spiritual strength. You're in the game, you got it. You're, you're seeing what's happening here. And um, yeah, as frustrated as you are, uh, you also are gaining so much wisdom and knowledge and um, fortitude on this journey and you're, you're collecting your your chakras are getting in alignment this is, speaks of like kundalini rising you're ready for this new journey this new chapter in your life there's just a little bit of leftover residual some emotional loss um from probably some things you're you're experiencing right now but just know that um there's justice there there's justice there and it, it is in the form of the lovers it is in the form of a counterpart of a soul mate, a soul tribe, someone very, very close to you. Um, there's a lot of truth and clarity in that experience as well as you already know. And if, yeah, you're going to know if you don't know already, Scorpio, Princess of Discs, um, your hard work is paying off. It will be paying off. Trust, trust in that. So we're going to dive a little deeper into this. King of Cups is... Um, you know, really uh, becoming emotionally intelligent on your journey, understanding the um, energies and emotions that have created certain experiences for you in your life. Um, let's see here. What do we want to use? The Witch's Tarot. Yeah. So we're going to dive a little deeper into this now for you. We'll start with the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. We are all learning here at Earth School all about ourselves. Know thyself. That is the name of the game. All of the self. The unconscious, making the unconscious conscious. Unconscious meaning it's stuff from when we're babies even. Subconscious. Somatic therapy can help with that. If there are things that you don't have a conscious memory of in the mind, the somatic therapist, a good one, can really dive into the physical body and pull out other unconscious things that have happened. The, somebody may need to hear that. I probably need to hear that <laughs> myself. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. What can we tell Scorpio? It is raining so hard here. We have a hurricane Ian. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so we have 
with the teacher, the Knight of Pentacles, which is also a card of lessons, the lessons that we learn along the way of the journey, which is why it goes a lot slower than our mind thinks. We are impatient. We actually think there's a destination that we're getting to because we have desires, we have wants and needs. And sometimes when we're not getting there fast enough, it can seem like it's taking forever, but this is where all the lessons are learned, Scorpio. And it's been very, very um, exhausting and um, a battle. It's been a battle. You, it, you've you got your guard up a lot and you wanna let start letting your guard down. Um, I feel like you're still afraid to make a choice I think that you're afraid to like put yourself back out there because of all like the scare because of all the trickster energy that Mercury <laughs> Mercury retrograde really really tricked us a lot and it's like I don't know if I trust any of this but you do Scorpio use your discernment use your um you are intuitive um don't let these painful uh, life experiences and lessons uh, have you so guarded, uh, so deeply guarded. You want to relax. You've got this spiritual strength. You've got this. You've got this. Yeah. And you've got a spirit team. You've got your higher self. You've got assistance. You are working this trinity as above, so below. You got this. You got this. I feel like I feel like you need a pet talk, Scorpio, <laughs> and and you don't, you don't, you've got this. So needless worry. Don't 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 give yourself that exhaustion and pain because you don't know all the way. I mean, you actually know. <laughs> yeah. You actually do know. You know everything is gonna be okay, but right now you're still. Yeah, you feel. I can feel those swords in me. You're still holding on to pain, and you're telling yourself everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's all right. But the pain's still there. It's like you're down. <laughs> you're you're uh. It, it is. There's been a painful ending here. Maybe a few, and um. So let those scars heal. You know. Uh, it, yeah, let those scars heal. There is a new start, a new fresh start, but you can't hold on to the past. You got to let go, let go of what happened, let go of the pain, let go of the story. You already have the truth. Really, it's important. You can't take this with you. You're going to just be in this waiting game. That's what you're waiting on. You're waiting for yourself to let down that guard and let let loose. Maybe even spend a little money. Maybe you've been really frugal. You've just been really tight-lipped, like, I don't trust anything. Just, oh, Scorpio, let, loosen up a little bit. I mean, don't go crazy, but loosen up a little bit. Anything else for Scorpio? Okay, yeah. Get in that happy place. Celebrate life. It's important. Uh, this is what you're battling. You're healing a broken heart. You're healing the pain of abandonment, of rejection, of betrayal. So give yourself the time that you need to do that because you don't want to carry that. You've carried it long enough and you continue to keep manifesting it over and over but you are moving to a calmer state of mind now uh yeah and you can visualize your new life you can you're still very guarded though ah scorpio let the guard down nobody's gonna come in and beat you down again i think you let your guard down and then there was one more like snap snafu that came in and like really really rocked your world <sighs> yeah 
somebody that had to have something their way. I was also reading something from your subconscious mind that um, maybe from a past version of yourself. There's a big karma. We had a lot of karma replay. What comes around goes around, right? But now it's time to go forward. It is forward movement. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. Let's let's get some advice here for you because this is exhausting me. <laughs> and it's the same energy. So it is time to let, let that go. Yes. It was tough challenges. Yes. It was hard. Yes. You see the truth. You got it. You you keep looking for more. Like, maybe I'm not right. Maybe it's something else. Like, you know, stop looking. You were given the truth. You have the truth. You see the truth. Accept it and let go and allow to move forward. That is the strong message. 11, 11 on the clock. Vice for Scorpio. Oh, I just got hungry too. And the advice me, okay, thank you. Blackbird, the magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. Scorpio, just pay attention to all of the messages that are coming in and all the newness. There are so many different messages and maybe you have a bunch of birds that are flying around you and talking to you as well. Messengers, um, things are unfolding for you uh, very smoothly and nicely. So sit back, get the popcorn, relax, watch the show and, and get the rest of your life review while you're still alive here so that you can move forward with that chariot energy. So take good care of yourself. Have a great week. Bye.